Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I hope you guys had a wonderful, happy, merry Christmas. I'm here to share my family with you guys. Just a little bit of snippet because we're a lot of crazy and too much of us at one time is a lot, <laughs> if you know me. So um, I want to share with you guys this quick appetizer that I always make. It's um, buffalo using rotisserie chicken. You guys know I love using like almost halfway done meals. So rotisserie chicken is one of my favorite things to use when I'm doing recipes. So I always kind of try to work around that. So I made these little buffalo um, rotisserie balls and I'm going to show you guys how I made it. So hopefully you'll try this with your family. It's quick, it's easy, it's delicious, it's inexpensive, like all of my favorite things all at once so um let me show you this quick recipe and then i'll come back and show you the craziness that ensues my family <laughs> all right check this out so you're gonna start out cutting you some scallions cut as many as you want i end up cutting five for mine um i start out with three and then later on i added two more um so you you want to cut out you know a quarter cup at least to add flavor to your um buffalo balls Make sure they're diced uh, pretty small because nobody wants to bite into uh, chunks of scallions. <laughs> Next thing you want to do is add some sharp cheddar. I like using block cheese instead of the pre-shredded cheese. Um, when I'm doing things like this, I want the most flavor, the most intensity that I can get. So I just grabbed a block of sharp cheddar, probably one in one and a three quarter two cups of shredded um i'll have all of the exact measurements down below but just just keep shredding just keep shredding get that freshly sliced shredded cheddar in there here we go with our favorite our friend the rotisserie chicken from the local grocery store i always like to get the ones with that has a little bit more bark on it because that meat on the inside is going to be so much more flavorful i don't like getting the non-burnt or the non the, the raw looking chicken so um, make sure you get the strings off and you're gonna cut those into um, small snippets or slices or dices you want to just chop them finely so they can um, form into a nice uh, ball forgot to mention be sure to remove all the skin you really just want the meat of the chicken so um, make sure you remove all of the skin from that rotisserie then dice it up finely so grab yourself a large mixing bowl, make sure you have that chicken skin removed, the chicken all diced up really fine. I've added the um, shredded cheddar cheese and then I've also added those scallions. So I'm just going to mix that up really well, incorporate that and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, to your mixture you want to add um, some hot sauce, you can use any type. I use Louisiana hot sauce that's our family favorite Frank's red hot hot sauce doesn't matter but you just want to add the hot sauce right in here to this mixture I had to end up taking that lid off because I wasn't about to keep shaking that thing a thousand times but if you want a little bit more intensity add a little bit more hot sauce but this is like a mild intensity um, you know if you want it like buffalo buffalo add add a little bit more hot sauce to this mixture to this I also added a little bit of salt and a little bit of of pepper to um, just to add a little bit more flavoring to the mixture. Once that all is incorporated, you want to go ahead and get your setup done. You want to get one bowl um, or pan or whatever you're going to use with all purpose flour. And then you're going to need one bowl with um, three eggs that's lightly beaten and then a one bowl of panko breadcrumbs. I use plain panko breadcrumbs, nothing with Italian seasoning or nothing. I don't want to take away from the taste of the buffalo so you want to put those into three separate containers and get ready to start your uh, dipping process all right once you've got that set up go ahead and start forming your balls I just put them into the palm of my hand and I make circles and I do all mines at the same time so then when I go back around all I have to do is dip so um, you can do one at a time if you wish, but I like to use, get all my balls together, set them on a tray and be done so that I can keep the process flowing. But that's about the size that you want them to be. 
um, when you're done and then you want to get your setup so the first thing that you're going to do is take your already formed ball and you want to roll it in the flour just lightly and shake off the excess as much as you can then you want to dip that into the egg and make sure it gets coated don't let anything sit too long it's gonna get gummy it's gonna get pasty and then you're gonna be like Tamika my balls are crummy oh never mind skip that anyway um, then after the egg wash you want to lightly batter it in the panko um, breadcrumbs shake off the excess and put it aside and as you can see here I my next roll I put them all get them all together so they're ready to go into a fryer um, just for a few minutes just so everything is well incorporated and that topping is crusted now you can use blue cheese dip or you can use ranch dip store bought that's fine but if you want to make your own you want to just add all of these ingredients together you need some mayonnaise some um, um, what do you call it uh, blue cheese and then you need a little bit of the hot sauce you need some Worcestershire sauce salt and um, garlic and a half of a lemon um, all mixed up together incorporate that very well and chill it for a little bit I put mine in the freezer since I was in a rush the kids were the bigger kids were coming soon so I threw it in the freezer for like 10 minutes so it can get like cold real quick um, but just chill it in the refrigerator if you have time So this is what they should look at when they come out of the fryer. Just, you know, you're just touching them a little bit. Nice golden brown. I finished them off with a little bit of scallions chopped on top. And they are perfect. Perfect crunch. The cheese just melts. It is so, so good. Check the description box for the recipe, you guys. All right, let's get on to some family vlogging so that's yummy like I make those over and over again so you can make the balls a little bit smaller if you like but I will put the recipe down below in the description box if you guys are interested in making it yourself so the things we like to do on Christmas some of the things include just a lot of random but rock paper scissors is like our number one if you follow me on Instagram you'll see last year my boys compete to see who will put the star on the tree first let me introduce you to my family so it's my husband Robert um, we've been together for 17 years and we have our littlest one together Kyla <laughs> my oldest son TJ who will be 23 this year my second son Tyler who was 19 fellow Leo Leo twin what then there's Taylor who's my first baby girl she just turned 18 and, and you guys all know Kyla who was 12 so last year they did rock paper scissors tyler is always the winner so we did it again this way this time kyla played you know um so it was just really fun so, all right now that you've seen them in their craziness so let me show you these snippets of the rock paper scissors they're hilarious oh by the way you won't see me play because I don't care to put the star on the tree they are always fighting for it but um my son tyler he's like calls himself the rock paper scissor champion so check check this out yes tj you ready yes hey what Who was? Dang! Tyler won again. Go ahead, Robert. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm the king. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's not fair. It's not fair still. Shoot it. All right. Shoot it. And fight. mess up her mind.
cut. Let me play cards. Let me play cards. No, you can't. You won. No, you can't. You won. For the championship, go, go, Ooh. go, go. Hey, hey, hey Tyler hey, won again. Hey, hey. Champion <laughs> crowned again, boy. I'm the best at rock paper scissors. Y'all gotta come see me. Come, to, I'm not gonna say it, but <laughs> come to this house and play me. Don't One thing I want to share with you about Taylor and Tyler, the two in the middle. Um, a boy and girl, they're 18 and 19. They always are arguing, I swear. They're Irish sort of twins. They're a year and like four months apart, but they are always wrestling. It's so funny. Now, I might have to cut out the snippet because they're playing music in the background. We're playing music in the background, so maybe no sound, but they're forever wrestling. So um, Tyler always gives in. Taylor always swears she's win, but check this clip out. So I had to mute the background because it is too loud. Kyla and Robert are rapping and it's just ratchet. So, but look at these two Nick Kamoops. We were supposed to be watching a Miracle on 34th Street. We got our covers up. We're supposed to be relaxing. We had just did the tree. This is before Christmas. But these two decided that they were going to wrestle and, and fight for a spot on the couch. Like, <laughs> and she's like, I'm not letting them go. I'm not letting them go. I wish I can play you this, but it's just too loud. But um, he's saying that, He's just basically saying that um, she won't let him go, but he could really take her. But this is what they do every time. You can always find Taylor and Tyler wrestling, but he's going to slam her, and it's going to be the end of everything. <laughs> I want to see who's going to win this. <laughs> Tyler! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he had his butts all in her face. <laughs> what happened to the couch? Y'all just destroyed oh, it. They got put to the couch. <laughs> no! I saved Tyler's life. He put his head on this. One thing I love about the holidays is there's always music playing, whether it's Christmas or not, and we always will get into like a dance jam and just be all around the kitchen, the everywhere around the house, just moving and dancing. And I really, really love that about them. Everybody participates and it's just a fun time. And sometimes we'll even do like a line dance. Like in the summer at birthday parties, we will have a line dance going like nobody's business. So anyway, check these little dance moves out. They think they're getting it, but they're not. What are you doing, Taylor? I just wanted to share like a little blurb with you guys about my family. I hope you guys enjoyed the little snippet. If you want to see more, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And I hope you guys again had a Merry Christmas. Like this video and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to check out that recipe because it's awesome. It's delicious with or without the buffalo sauce. All I want for Christmas is you. You.